Hi, I'm Don, and this is The Hobbyist Geek. And today we are continuing our Metal Earth series. We have something a little different, a Gundam RX-782. Full disclosure, I don't know anything about Gundams. Uh, is that a robot? Is that a suit? I, I, really, I really don't know. But I do have a friend that loves these things, and so when I'm finished, this is actually going to go in his collection. Um, and I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, one thing of note, uh, all of the models that I have done thus far, including the hated Stormtrooper, were listed as challenging difficulty. This, according to Metal Earth, is expert difficulty. So I'm wondering what kind of challenges I'm going to run into while assembling it. Well, uh, I think it's enough talking from me. Why don't we crack this thing open and see what we get. And here are the metal sheets we get with this uh, particular model. I'm um, taking a look at them, and you know I don't see any really tiny, tiny pieces like we've seen in some of the other models. Uh, clearly, these are unpainted, so the final result is going to be a big silver metal uh, uh, machine, and that's okay. I mean, that's what the box art shows. Uh, one thing I think is really cool, though, is the weapon is a solid piece of metal here. So it's not something that's going to be rolled or folded or anything. It's a nice, solid piece of metal that just comes as a separate piece. So that's pretty cool. The instructions are laid out a little differently than in previous models. Um, instead of, you know, standard step names, you uh, get this kind of organization as opposed to that orientation um could be a little confusing don't know we'll have to get into it so let's say we start cutting pieces and getting uh, this this thing built
And here we have the completed RX-782 Gundam. And I gotta tell you, for the most part, this model was a breath of fresh air after that Stormtrooper. Uh, nice relaxing build. Uh, there were a couple of problem areas, uh, the, the, the face and helmet being one of them. Um, but for the most part, it was a fairly easy build. So I'm not sure exactly where that... Uh, uh, expert level of difficulty comes from or what qualifies as expert because the challenging level stormtrooper was much much more difficult uh, as far as detail goes uh, he I mean he looks pretty nice uh, most of the detail is the the laser edge stuff um, I don't really know what the Gundam looks like in the cartoons or, or anything else but he looks really nice to me uh, I I would enjoy it, uh, and and I highly recommend this if if you're into Gundams. For a size comparison, I've got him here next to the hated Stormtrooper and the standard uh, series Optimus Prime. Uh, now the Gundam is listed as a premium model. I I don't know what makes it premium. It's, it's nowhere near as big as the Stormtrooper. It's unpainted. So I'm not sure what qualifies it as premium, but he is larger than the standard size model, as you can see next to the Optimus Prime. And there you have it, everyone. The RX-78-2 uh, Gundam all together. I mean, I like some of the, the 3D detail, like on the the shield here, the, the way the star came out. Um, and I definitely like that I didn't have to roll the weapon. <laughs> but uh, all in all, not a bad model. Not a bad model at all. Uh, do you agree? Let me know in the comments. And if you like the video, please remember to like, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you next time. Have a great day.